everyone, it's Elle. Thank you so much for watching my channel today. Today we're going to talk about the importance of water and why is it so important when it comes to beauty and science. I'm going to do a pH balance water test and I wanted to see what was the difference in waters. I noticed that when I drink waters, the waters taste different, but I drink bottled water all the time. I myself like to drink a gallon a day. I don't drink any alcohol and I don't drink soda. So let's discuss the beauty aspects of water and the importance of pH balancing. Your body is made up of 80% water, which is more than half your weight. Water is better than any high-end moisturizer that you can ever buy. Your skin would not be moisturized if it wasn't for water. Water is the number one ingredient in moisturizer. If you don't hydrate with water, it will lead to constipation and dehydration. And that causes more sickness and when your body is not pH balanced and it's more acidic, it can lead to sickness. And your body fights against that by pulling minerals from your bones, your organs, and it can eventually shut down. If you don't drink enough water, you'll find yourself being sick all the time with joint pain. So if you drink more water, it will lead to cell regeneration, no wrinkles, and it causes you to flow and eliminate very well. And when you do eliminate, you can do number one or two, and number one, your, your urine should be very, very clear. If it's dark, there's a problem, and you should see a doctor. Take, for instance, water and pH balance. Water likes to be in minerals. Natural mineral water contains minerals that your body needs to feed your organs. Water likes to have minerals in it. If the water is acidic, it will pull from your bones, pull from your organs, and cause you to be acidic. And diseases love to grow in an acidic environment. The common denominator with all these bottles of water is that they're sitting in plastic. We don't know how long they've been sitting in plastic. Some of them came from off a boat with Fiji, and some of them claim to be sterilized in a pool. But we're going to test them today to see exactly what the pH balance is for each one. And the reason a pH balance is important inside water is because you want to make sure that your body is not acidic, it's more alkaline because your body will develop diseases and breed diseases in an acidic state versus an alkaline state. Your body wants to be alkaline all the time. Mineral water is from the earth because it's naturally alkaline. It has silica in it and all the good things that we need for our hair, our skin, our nails, and it helps with the beauty aspect. And it also helps with fighting any diseases and it actually contains natural ingredients because in an acidic environment, your body cannot grow. And the reason for the pH balance test today is to help educate you, to help you learn about the science behind the beauty, and also to help you make an educated decision when purchasing water. I hope that you enjoy this test. I hope that you share it with other people. And here we go, let's get started. And before we get started with the test, I would like to bring Mr. Traveler on. and He's gonna help me assist in this test. Come on, Mr. Traveler. I am the assistant. <laughs> Hi. So anyway, I thought this was a really good idea to do. This was actually Mr. Traveler's decision to do this test. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was good because I drink too much pop and an occasional Red Bull. Yes, all the time. <laughs> and I need to leave him alone. But back when I was in Michigan, I drank a lot of water. So I'm going to get back on drinking my water. Mm -hmm. um, I saw something online and I would start reading about it. And... Um, you know, on average, they say that the men are to drink like 128 ounces a day, and women is 88, which okay. is like rough numbers. That's good. But I was really, I was really surprised about the mineral water. I never knew that. Reading the that the mineral water you get from the earth is full of all those things that are naturally alkaline and help make your body alkaline. Yeah, I would always wonder why the water would taste different as well, and now we can find out why. Right, and it tastes it tastes different because it's got all the minerals and it. it's very strong. It it's is strong the mineral water. And then drinking some of these here may put your body in an acidic environment, which um, disease thrives in. And uh, my dad was going through cancer and stuff, and I remember them talking about how um, uh, cancer thrives in an acidic environment. Mm -hmm. So, 
Yeah. Dangerous stuff. So we got a lot of top brands here. Here we go. All the top brands are here. Okay, and let's explain our test. What we're going to do is do a simple pH balance test. We're going to use the same exact drops in each one. And the scale is 0 to 14, with 7-ish being neutral, and that's going to be green. Our body likes to be at a neutral state, which is 7, and we don't have any points on here, so I can't really negate the exact points of our body, but here, we want to be green all the time. We want to be 7-ish. I can't put a particular point on these when we test them because this is not a point system so it's going to be a we're going to round it up to a big number or round it down but here's the colors here um this is healthy if you're purple and if you're acidic it's going to be red the scale is going to be on the screen the first, this water is called nice spring water and you can pick it up from any walgreens or cvs aquafina mm -hmm. and it claims to be pure water and a perfect taste this is very very fancy <laughs> this is a Voss water Voss for the boss and it's <laughs> using a marketing skill of the sleek look of the package and it claims to be from Norway it's supposed to be artisan water that's my favorite coming up next my favorite too I hate to see what this is but I hope it's good this is Fiji straight from the Fijian island and it claims to be from the island of Fiji, and this is actually natural artisan water as well. The next one, we pronounced it from Michigan when we lived in Michigan, Zephyrilis, but here it's pronounced Zephyr Hills. <laughs> <laughs> it claims to be born better. Um, it's 100% natural spring water, and you can pick this up at your local Costco, and we buy it in cases. Yeah, in Florida, they got this everywhere, and if you read the back of it, it, it comes all from different springs throughout Florida. Mm -hmm. So they have this a lot in the south. Okay, this one is, I, this is the first time I ever saw this one. I think I got it at uh, Publix. And it's called Real Water, or Real 2 Water. I can't, there's a number two in there. It's hard to see. Um, this one claims to be pure alkaline water. And inside here it says that it's at an 8, uh, 8 pH. And that so is we'll see. supposed to be really good because on the scale, Seven is neutral and eight is great. <laughs> and next up, we'll see how smart you are for buying smart water. I love smart water. Smart water is good. Second favorite. This is eternal natural alkaline spring water, naturally alkaline. Wow, look at the bottom. Mm -hmm, very fancy. fancy. But it says it's naturally alkaline. So I'm, naturally alkaline. Um, we'll see. But it does not have a number on here. So we'll see what it says. Okay. I got this at uh, I got this at either Walgreens or Publix also. Delish electrolyte water. Walgreens. Walgreens. It says it's vapor distilled. Ooh, so that's we'll, fancy. We'll see what happens vapor to it. Vapor distilled. And I got this at Plus 2, and it's the only one that's in a glass bottle. That is a glass bottle. Now, the rest of these are plastic. This is glass. But and it's, doesn't it look fancy? It's very, it's like sparkling <laughs> wine. Uh, this is Aquapana Tos that's Toscana Italia, natural spring water. Natural spring water. So when you go to the fancy restaurants and they come pour the water, they use that. These waters cost us a lot of money but some of them we're gonna throw away because they're garbage and lastly what we don't see up on the table here but we're gonna do after we've tested these waters we're gonna test the tap water mm -hmm. from here in Florida yeah. we're gonna also test Canada dry ginger ale she's making me feel bad because <laughs> he drinks it all the time so we'll start with the nice spring water from Walgreens and we're gonna put the same amount in each glass, about that, and we're going to add seven drops of the reagent. Let's test the nice. Oh. Next will be the Aquafina. It's about the same amount, about a third of the way here. Next to be the Voss water. Seven drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> my favorite, the Fiji. Means my favorite.
Next, the Zephyrillus. Oh, Zephyr Hills, excuse me. <laughs> See how our local Florida Zephyr Hills water does. The natural, or excuse me, the real to alkalized water process that they do to make it alkalized. Interesting color there. Next, we'll go with the smart water. See how smart you are. All right, here's the eternal. And this one claims to be naturally alkaline. Here's the delish. Water. Finally, the fancy aquapana. Wow, fancy bottle. In the bottle instead of plastic. This is tap water from Florida. We're on the west coast of Florida near Tampa area. Right off the Gulf. This will be an interesting test. Mm -hmm. Ginger ale. Let's do a close up on there so you guys can really see the colors compared to the chart on the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so let's, let's talk about it. Here's a, here's our pH so chart. We want to go ahead and explain the pH balance scale and why are we testing? Because seven is neutral. That's where your body wants to be. When you go down every notch, it's 10 times more acidic. If you go down to the six, it's, it's 10 times more acidic. The next one is 100 times more acidic and 1,000. And it's so it's exponential as you go down the chart. Let's look at let's, so let's look at our results here. How did our how did our nice do? Our nice did terrible. <laughs> and if you if you look on our chart here, and you'll see it on our screen too, and it shows how disease and it says things like acidic foods, coffee, soft drinks, stress, and negative emotions. So these are all the things that the the acidic environment causes in your body. Not to mention also feeding off the the uh, illnesses. Yes. All right, so let's start with our water. So let's see where we're at. Let's start with the nice water we got from Walgreens. And wow, we're definitely at the lower end of the scale here. It's very acidic. It's off the charts here. Uh, moving on to our Aquafina. You know what? We can do Aquafina and Voss in the same sentence here because they look like we have a tie here. They're both very yellow to yellow orange, which might be between the 4 and the 5 here. Maybe like about a 4.5. Still very acidic. Our favorite water. At least it used to be. It used to be our <laughs> Wow, pretty bad. Wow, look at it's that. It's very acidic. Look like it's somewhere maybe in the three and a half range, 3.5 range wow. with that orange color. Very surprised about that, honestly. Uh, Zephyr Hills, Florida water. Oh boy. Just pointing to this bad part. Yeah, it's very acidic. It's, it's three, three, if not lower than that. Real mm -hmm. are. Uh, Alkaline, alkalized water that's commercially alkalized uh, is indeed very alkaline. Uh, I know it's a different color, purple, but the purple is representing the alkaline end of things here. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely way up the charts here because it's nowhere near a blue. Uh, we're way up here at the top end of things. So it's very alkaline. Now the bottle says at least eight, and eight is represented by blue on the chart, and it's beyond that. Are we drinking yeah. smart water? Well, not very. Uh, somewhere between, it's an orangey color, so probably like a 3.5, somewhere in between the red and the yellow there. Smart water, very acidic. This is our pure and pristine. Uh, this is supposed to be the naturally alkaline water. Pristine, naturally alkalized water. Uh, 
kind of hard to tell, but it doesn't look like it's very alkalized here at all. It looks like it's acidic. Wow, I'm very surprised about that. It's almost, how does that compare there? The same. Wow, so it's almost the same as our nice water down here. Very surprising. I think this is probably the biggest surprise of all. Uh, this very economical, delish electrolyte water that we picked up at Walgreens is very alkaline. Yes, it is. It's right on board with this very expensive water here. Mm -hmm. Aquapana. Looks like it is indeed alkaline. It's worth the money. <laughs> so that's good results. Here's our Florida tap water. And we're somewhere, wow, maybe 3.5 range. The pop. If you look at this, the water looks like it's almost more acidic than the pop is. It is. Wow, that is a really surprising results. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm pouring some of the, what, what registered as the strongest alkaline water, which was the uh, one that went through the process, manufacturing process to be alkalized. I'm pouring it into the waters uh, that we've already tested just to show how the alkalized water will uh, neutralize the acid. And this is the pop here. As you can see, the pop never changes color. See, and you see when we did these tests here that for the most part, I was able to change it. This one changed back pretty quickly, the Voss water. Um, but this pop is so acidic that it's not even changing with adding the water. And lastly, our Florida tap water. The Voss water already turned back and our, <laughs> our Fiji water is starting to revert back too already. Which means it's very acidic. So we want to thank you very much for participating in this Science Meets Beauty Meet science <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> test for pH water. If you want to know the best water, well, there you go. Share this with your friends. Make sure everybody sees this video because this is very important to our bodies. We want to have a beautiful, long, healthy life. Nobody wants to be sick all the time. And some of these waters actually cause joint pain and sickness. So we want to be as healthy as we can. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to try to drink, drink more water. I really am, but now we can do it with uh, with more information, uh, not just going out buying water to drink water for water's sake, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, I would say that drinking water, regardless of what it is, is better than drinking no water at all. Right. Um, but if you have the options to be able to make choices, our winners today are the real two alkalized water. Yes. The Delish electrolyte water. Mm-hmm. And our aquapana, which is which I think this is really cool if you're doing something at home, if you're cooking dinner at home mm -hmm. and having like a little romantic night in. If you don't drink them, this is nice. Yes, it is. It makes you feel special, especially if it's in the glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's good for you, so So thank you so much for watching. Life sure have fun. Take care. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Come here. We're going to do pH balance test and I want to tie in why is it so important and and I got to drink some water. <laughs> it's so funny. Where did I get that from? I have no, no idea. And why is pH balancing so important when it comes to To the kid, uh, that, that sounds good, but <laughs> <laughs> Bye. That sounds good. wow, these is garbage. <laughs> Very interesting. This is garbage. We drink. Hi, everybody.